Today we're looking at the Geekvape Max Kit. Let's go. So this is a box that the Aegis Max Kit comes in, guys. So in the box, you're gonna get... Okay, you're gonna get a tool on this. Two coils, which I've used. You're gonna get warranty information, stuff like that. User manual. This box here. Okay. Micro USB cable. Spare glass. And you're going to get an adapter for an 18650. I don't know why you'd want to use that. You get better battery life out of a 21700. So, but yeah, you get it if you want to use it. And the tool, which I don't know what that's for, but you get this tool. Uh, over heat protection and it's got all the different modes stainless steel micro and titanium and it goes up to hundred watts so if you have a look here you'll see I don't know if you can see that clearly I'm pretty sure you can all the way up to hundred watts I replace the battery so if you can see here uh, because of the IP67 uh, water resistance it has to have um, a battery cap like this so if you have a look you just unscrew the battery cap You'll see here there's the cap there all right it's got a little o-ring to keep the water out and battery just pops out here like this all right and you can replace it you can see the positive is at the bottom there so you know which way to orientation to put your battery so yep yeah, that's good so let's talk about this tank because this tank is really something I was really impressed with um, this is really an amazing tank I love the flavor on this tank it's great um, so basically it's got both direct top airflow and top to bottom airflow. So the airflow comes in through these slots here, okay, right here. It goes down through the chimney and then back up through the middle of the chamber and obviously that's where you inhale it. Um, now if you have a look here, you can adjust this really easy, okay, to get whatever type of uh, restriction you like. Um, and yeah, it's been really nice. The, 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 the airflow on this is really smooth. I like it a lot. The website that it's got a massive flavor boost and vapor, vapor boost uh, regarding the airflow because it's uh, top down and it's also uh, top to bottom. So I don't know, you know if that's really the case, but it's vapes awesome. It's really, really a great kit. For a beginner, someone who is like looking to buy like um, a kit that is, you know, a little bit more, uh, you know, a little bit has a little bit more vapor and a little bit more um, kind of, you know, looking for the clouds. This could be the thing for you. Also, it's like a, uh, it's water resistant, dust proof, shock proof, so it's really, uh, you know, durable. If you're like a builder or you're on a building site or something like that, or you have like a job where you're pretty active and, you know, you're moving around a lot, this would be a, a fucking great device. It's awesome. Yeah, really, really good for for that. I've been loving it. It's amazing. I've had it. I've had it for about a month now, and it's been really, really nice. So basically, I'm not going to change the coil. I'll show you how and where the coil goes, but um, I'm not going to change it. Obviously, I have a full tank of juice here, and I don't, it's my last coil. I don't have another one, so um, I won't do that. But I'll show you quickly. Let's do that. So basically, you just unscrew it. Obviously, <laughs> right? Um, and you'll just unscrew this bit here like that right and this is like a cap it's not really connected to the coil so the coil is not going to come out so if you turn this right okay you'll see that this will come off and there's the coil right there okay and all you'll do is just pull it out it's press fit just pull it out and it will uh, it will come out, you can replace the coil pretty easily, so it's good. Obviously, if you have a full tank of juice and you take the coil out, it's gonna leak all down the, through the tank, so just make sure your tank is empty when you uh, use this. And also, obviously, although it looks like it's hybrid safe, this is absolutely not hybrid safe. In my opinion, never put a sub-ohm tank on a hybrid mod, it's just not safe. Um, this can move, so just don't touch that. I wouldn't do it in my opinion. Yeah, so I think that's pretty much all I have to show you guys um, down here. So let's go back up top uh, and we'll discuss uh, the prices 
and all that good shit. Let's go. All right, and we're back up on top with the Geek Vape Aegis Max and the Zeus Subhome Tank kit. What are the positives and what are the negatives? So, positives. I fucking love this tank, mate. This tank is awesome. Um, I love the airflow on this tank. I think it's great. The coils are great on this. The coils are amazing. I love the coils. Um, that's the tank. I mean, there's not many cons, really. I mean, the only con I can think of is when you uh, replace the battery, you have to turn it on every time. So you have to do five clicks on and off, which is a bit annoying. Um, but it still keeps the wattage, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, that's that's awesome. How's the performance? Well, you've just seen how the performance is. I mean, it chucks the clouds. It's great. Really good coils. Great flavor. I like it a lot. I would definitely recommend this. So there's two coils that come in the kit. They're calling them the Z1 and the Z2 coils. One is a 0.4 ohm, which is rated at 60 to 70 watts. And one is a 0.2 ohm, which is rated at 70 to 80 watts. Um, so let's, uh, I'm with a 0.4, so you know what, let's try it at 60 and uh, 60, we'll bump it up, see how we like it. Okay, so we're in the 0.4, let's go to 60 watts. Okay, I'm actually I was vaping it at 40 something watts, I like it at 42, 43 watts for the 0.4 and that was like fine for me. It's uh, around about 40 watts is... Uh, around about 3.8 volts uh, let's see 3.93 uh, volts is 40 watts with the point it's 0.39 it's showing at 0.39 don't know if you can see that 0.39 okay let's have a vape and it's amazing Okay, so let's go point, it's, it's saying 60 to 70, which seems a bit high for me, but let's go 60. Uh, 60 watts. Okay, there's 60 watts. Okay, let's do it. Oh yeah, the flavor bumps up a lot at 60 watts. Nice. And obviously the heat bumps up as well. It's not bad at 60. Let's try 65. Yeah, but for me it's around about, I think like, now that it says 60 to 70, I think I'll try it at about 50, but 40 watts for me is nice. I like it at 40 watts. It's perfect. 40 to 44 is usually what I do, so 42 watts. Yeah, I like it at 42. So the price on the kit that I've seen on the internet when doing a search, around 55 to 65 bucks, depending on where you go. I've seen it on Vapor DNA for about, it's on sale, I think, on Vapor DNA for about $48 right now. Um, and Element Vape's about 55, something like this. Um, but it, yeah, I can't put any links in the description, so you'll have to go search for it yourself. But if you put in Aegis Max Kit, you can find it, uh, no problem. It's probably the most uh, popular Geek Vape device, the Aegis series, the Aegis Solo, Aegis Mini, and now the Aegis uh, Max. So they're awesome devices. I would highly recommend it. So that's about uh, all I got for you guys today. I think I've uh, covered pretty much everything. Um, if I missed something, please let me know in the comments. Please subscribe if you liked the video. And uh, see you next time. Fuck the cigarettes. See ya.